Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's the Adam at ND72. So today we're back with my SLK 320 Death Card. So as you remember in the previous videos, we dropped the M11 2K Supercharger on top of my M11 2 motor. So now we have a high compression 3.2 liter, well, higher compression, a 10 to 1 compression ratio on a normal car that usually would have 9 to 1 compression ratio. So at this point, we're almost ready to get this thing already on the road and do our first drive. But, as you saw in the previous videos, we did a lot of plumbing and the intercooler and stuff like that. But now we have to find out a way to manage the temperatures on them and a few switches. So what we got here is kind of expensive for me. This is an Amazon, not really a no-name brand, Mictronic. But what came in the box was a control panel now. So if you know from the previous cars and what I do, usually I spend $10, get these teeny little switches, and I do an add a circuit to them. So, like, on this car, we would have had about 10 out of circuits. Because I need one for the, uh, what is it, radiator fan, intercooler fan, intercooler pump, bottle warmer. Uh, what else did I need? I need to, like, purge. I needed a lot of stuff. So, I went with a 8-switch control panel. Now, what's this, what is it going to do is, first of all, make it so much more slimmer and more sleek in the car. And I don't have to have a crap load of out of circuits to it because of what is right here. So right here is literally its own standalone fuel uh, fuse box set setup. So for my understanding, all I gotta do is mount this somewhere, give it power, give it ground from the car. This has relays, this has everything. It's a pretty nice, sleek little set. And this kit comes with everything. It comes with the brackets you need to mount it. It comes with a 60 amp breaker. It comes with even a screwdriver to help you put everything. Allen wrenches, tools, zip ties. It should come with everything I need to get this kit mount it in the only thing it might not have is i might want to do a cool little bracket to mount it to but the whole idea is this is to make it very easy for if i want to do a fan i turn it on on fan pump and it's going to make it a lot more cleaner in the car and it's going to make my fuse panel area not look so crazy so right now my fuse box setup was a crap load of these jumpers and this wire and crap everywhere i'm hoping to streamline this a lot more and now I won't have all these random wires going from left to right, left to right. So I'm planning to mount it somewhere right over there. I'll build a mount, and we're just going to go by it little bit, little bit, and see how this looks. So it looks like there's two ways to do this. There's a little switcher, so you could have getting all your power from the accessories or getting it all from the battery. I'm going to go from battery just because I'm going to be running a lot of high stuff. So you have your ground one that they give you this cable for, and then you got your straight to battery, which then they give you your breaker in there. So I'm going to try to mess this around and see where I could actually sneak this bad girl in. Also, I did, I did tuck all my ECUs, if you remember before they were all hanging out. I did tuck them there because I'm thinking there's a little hole right here. It might be able to go right from the battery and then mount this whole thing by the transmission setup all down here. That way it's easy accessible and it's still like kind of covered. Okay, so we got the panel kind of all rigged up. So this panel right here is you could turn it on and off as you're like in the car or whatever and then it'll do nothing. Well, I mean, that's just turning the lights off, I guess, because it still will. So how I have it set up right now is because I want to just test some stuff out. So I got wired up to the fan. So by looking at everything, it looks like I needed power and ground, but I did the fan directly to the chassis because I don't want to run so many wires. Also, what I want to test, because remember, I want to use this for purging. There's a mode in here that I'm pretty sure I set up where you could hold it, and it'll be intermittent on, like, see? Right when I let off. That's going to be perfect for purging the nitrous. Now I gotta figure out how to flip it back. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be the opposite, changing in the modes. You just gotta read through the directions and then it should be stationary. Also, it's cool for diagnostics. See, watch, like, all right, so I got nothing hooked up to this button, but watch. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there you go. So you see how, like, when I'm pushing certain buttons on, they stay on? Can you see? So that means I'm giving commands for all that stuff. And then the fan with the flicker to help you diagnose, like, yep, I'm getting power. No, I'm not. So this one won't light up because I did pop a fuse already. Because apparently my fan cannot run off of a 7-amp fuse. So, not bad. I'm going to play with this a little bit more because there's a lot of settings I apparently could do with this. Of lights and dimming and this and that. And then we're going to mount it up. But I really do like that I could just, like, for, for purging, just... Not purging a fan, but purging nitrous. So it's going to be pretty cool. So let me finish, like... Let me start wiring crap up, because also I want to see if this is powerful enough to run my pump in the back. That's going to be another big thing. All right, so we got the pump right at the body of the ground, and then we got another power cord going to here. Let's see if it'll work. Four. It didn't pop anything. Oh, I can hear the pump coming on. Yeah, that works. Perfect. 
So what I'll do for the pump, I'll make it really nice, go right to this ground, and then I just got to run a power wire up to that control panel. Not bad. This is going to work out pretty good. And I am ordering. I did a fan for back here, and I'm going to make this all a lot nicer. But yeah, the panel's looking really good. This panel's going to make everything a lot cleaner. Next, what I got to do, I do got to figure out a mounting system, but let's first mount to everything, and then I'll build a bracket. Also, as you can see, this light stays on, so you can do this little switch and have it go from accessory powering, but I'm doing it for the battery, and when I read the directions, it said this shouldn't kill the battery. It only runs like... I think three amps. It, should, it says it should last 800 and something days before it kills a battery. We'll see about that, though. But if I do, I can just go to accessories, and then I know when the key's off, it'll always be off. I can switch to that later, because it's very easy. It's literally just a switch. So all you do is wire it up, and then a switch. See how everything's shut off? So now, like, nothing will work. And they come with the harnesses to do all that stuff. So all you would really do is just get rid of these harnesses. It does make it look a lot cleaner, too, but I kind of want all the power right from the battery. All right, so we're starting to wiring it up. We can't fit it under the dash just because my cables aren't long enough, but I got a nice little honey home of the area to put it there. So that should be pretty straightforward. It's going to sit right down there. We're going to have our wires come up. This is to the pump. And then also what we just got is another Amazon find, a Max fan. This is going to be the fan for the heat exchanger in the back. It was about 50 bucks. It's supposed to be a full kit that comes with a lot of stuff. We're not going to use most of it. But we're going to throw it in the back. That way when we're wiring everything up, we got it right there to wire right up. So we're going to knock out the whole back and then probably do the whole front. Okay, so we got the fan all secured in. We got it with those factory little zip tie thingies. We got kind of a harness over here and we got kind of it all wired up. We're just going to make this look a lot cleaner, but I just wanted it more or less. And also what we did was, let's go over here. Do, 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 do. We got the panel set up. So I got it bolted right there so it's easy to get to. And uh, let's hop in here. So it's all set up, and I got my three things I want to be wired up. So you could do a few ways. You could just turn it on. I got it set, so right when I hit that, you could hear everything. So that will give me pump, fan, fan. So I could also individually fire it up. Like, just say I want just pump right now, one fan, two fans. But I like it that I literally just hop in and hit one button and everything that I want on immediately comes on. It's very simple. You just go and everything's on. Also, we have the box. Basically, it's mounted right over here. Like, it's just tucked in there. It's going pretty good. This, I'm going to want to get some double-sided tape and just tape it somewhere, put the screen on. But I need to get my uh, all my wires basically rounded down farther. But that's going to be a good area where it's easy accessible. It's snucked in. And yes, if it rains, it'll get wet, but I'm never driving this car in the rain because so many things will get wet that shouldn't. So we're almost closer to get this thing drivable. Okay, so now we got everything wired up that we want to wire up. For this time, we're going to do kind of a fun little cool thing if you feel like a kid. Stickers! So I'm going to look over the stickers and feel which one's the best so I can put that a button so I don't have to memorize it. And if anyone else gets in the car, they can kind of tell what they are. So let's look. So it comes with a few on here. A lot of it's lighting. Oh, there's one that actually says fan. So I want something that says like, oh, that actually says fan one and fan two. And maybe something that says like pump or cooler, something like that. So we got fan one and fan two, which are good contenders. We got, what else, what else, what else? Water? Oh, that's like kind of picture of a pump and water. So, oh, and a turbo. <laughs> I mean, it looked like a turbo. So let's go over and pick which ones. There's ones that actually say water. So I'm going to go over there and look. Fan one and fan two seem pretty good unless there's like another cool fan one. All right, so the ones we picked were a water pump for the water pumping. We picked the one that says fan is for the intercooler fan. And if I get confused, it says fan, but a picture of a motor. So I know it's the motor fan. And they're probably going to look pretty cool at night. If I could figure out how to, like, when I turn these on, these don't light up. I want to figure that out. But uh, there's all this programming stuff I could do to this. So I hope you guys like this video. This is kind of like a short, maybe a little bit of a nerdy video, but it's something that had to be done. And I thought the panel was pretty cool. So now we have... The pump wired up, the, the fan by the tank, and the other fan wired up. And a couple things that people were saying on my last video with the pump I chose, they were all like, oh, no, you need a controller, you need this, you need that. Yeah, probably. But as of right now, I tested this car in a future video because my video is a little bit behind. This car gets on phenomenal cooling. And if you're telling me that pump is only at like 50% or 20%, all that means to me, if I don't need the cooling for that, It'll just make the pump last longer. Because if I put it at like 100% or have a controller and add this, all this stuff that is not needed for my situation right now, you're just making the pump go at 100% the whole time. And 
maybe that's not as good. So if, in theory, if I'm only at like 20 or 30 percent, a okay with that. Do I need a module eventually? Maybe when I start adding crazy boost and the pump just can't keep up. But as of right now, with my data and all that stuff that I've been doing with my little programmer, it is phenomenal with cooling. You'll see that in a couple of future videos. But hopefully you guys like this series of the death cart. Hopefully you like the channel. We are going to be adding more boost to the car. We're going to be taking on the first, first maiden journey with you guys very soon. And then we're going to be doing some like intake exhaust. Just make it a lot more drivable. And more cool. So hopefully you guys like it. Remember this ad for ND72. Like, subscribe, watch our commercials. Hit me up if you want to get a couple shirts or anything like that. I do sell merch now. And I'll catch you guys later. Cookie? Cookie. Back for more Dino?